the higher you rise into the sky, the harder it becomes to breathe. Modern science discovered this recently, but the Quran described it over 1,400 years ago. The higher you go, the harder you breathe. Science confirms the Quran. Science discovered this recently. The Quran mentioned it 1,400 years ago. Why breathing fails at high altitude? Thin air, 1,400 years ahead. Science just caught up. As humans ascend higher above the Earth, something invisible yet essential begins to fade. The air grows thinner. Oxygen levels fall. Breathing becomes a struggle. Modern science explains this with precision. At higher altitudes, atmospheric pressure decreases, limiting the body's ability to absorb oxygen. The chest tightens. The lungs work harder. This condition is known as hypoxia. But long before aircraft, pressure gauges or oxygen masks, this experience was already described in the Quran. In chapter Al-An'am, verse 125, the Quran says, And whoever Allah wills to leave astray, he makes his chest tight and constricted, as though he were ascending into the sky. This description is remarkably precise. The sensation of ascending into the sky, the tightening chest, the feeling of suffocation, mirrors exactly what humans experience when oxygen becomes scarce at high altitude. For the people of the 7th century, this was not scientific knowledge. There were no experiments measuring air pressure, no understanding of oxygen density, no way to physically reach the skies. And yet, the phenomenon is described with striking clarity. Because, in its essence, the Quran and science are not in conflict. They move side by side. They explore the same reality from different dimensions. Science explains how the universe works. The Quran invites us to reflect why it exists. When scientific discovery uncovers truths about the natural world, it does not diminish revelation. It often confirms it. This verse is not meant to be a scientific formula, but a sign a bridge between observation and meaning. As humanity continues to rise into the skies, measuring, calculating and exploring, the Qur'an reminds us 